So this is the Radio Drama Improv Part 2. You ready? Ready. Let's get into it. <laughs> Last time on Radio Drama Improv. Last time on Radio Drama Improv, Charles S Spacecraft landed on Mars inside of a crater where Sophia Edna's grandchild was playing. He opened up the doorway. Edna, I love you. Remember that happened last time? Yeah. And, and, and then Edna was all like, Oh, Charlie, it's so good to see you. And then it left on a cliffhanger of, That's your baby. And that's all you missed on Radio Drama Improv. Edna. Edna, 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 is what you telling me real? I just gotta punch a hole through the wall. House. Now, Charlie, that's your baby. You telling me up in old age you ain't taking care of your son? Taking care of my son? I just found out he was my baby. Well, guess what? In Mars, it runs in years. This ain't time like it was on Earth. Well, thank you for the history lesson, Edna, but I got one question for you. What is it, Charlie? When did we conceive that knucklehead, booger face, encrusted eyelid little oh, son of a I son? Don't talk about your baby like that. He got your eyes encrusted now. We did that, Jackie. Do you remember, Charlie? <laughs> and now announcing the centennial ball the finest of of games and the hunkiest of and Buckleins. This is the 1935 Centennial Ball Gala Promenade. Oh. You're looking just as beautiful as I remember, Sophia. Oh, Charlie. Do you still have my necklace? Of course I have your necklace. I had to go get it polished by the uh, old Polish polishers. Oh, Charlie, I'm gonna put it on. Does it fit my hat? It does fit your hat. You're oh. looking you're looking very pretty. I just I just don't want any other man looking at you. Well, Charlie, I can't help I'm pretty like that. <laughs> you right, you can't help it, but I don't like how that Scott is looking at you. Hey, Scotty! What do you want, punk? You's looking at my woman in her bussy ass. Yeah, see. I'm looking at your woman in her bussy ass. Oh, she busted up that for me. Me is gonna scuffle, Scotty! No! Scotty, don't be silly like that! Scotty's just my friend! He's just my friend, Charlie! Don't jump on him! He's just my friend! All right. Excuse me, excuse me, uh, uh. I Excuse me, ma'am. You're looking like a pretty dame, but do you know this Charlie fellow over here beating up on this Scotty man? Please look us in the eye. We are the law, ma'am. Now, we know you know this Charlie fellow over here. What was the reason of their scuffle? Officer, I, I don't really know too much. I, I'm not really from around here. Well, I don't want to give you this ultimatum, pretty lady, but I need you to tell me this. It's a matter of life or death. We need to know his alibi or he are going to lock him up. I think he's a nice man. He was down at the, the 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 place we went to not too long ago, but I don't really know him a lot. He just a little bit. Ah. No! Oh. <laughs> Charles and Sophia Edna are now on the run from the law inside of the cop car. We got to go. Oh, Come on. Come on. What, tell me, tell me. Hold over real quick and let's show them what Bonnie and Clyde really are. Mm. Back to Mars. Oh, we did it in the back of the car. Oh. Uh. And you 
you know what's crazy about that, Charlie. You know what's crazy. Something about that wig looks so good on you today. It's something about the front. The last time it was the back. That's what I think it was. Ugly. It looked good. No, listen but to I me. remember. Listen to me, Charlie. Yes. Where is? Where, where, where'd he go? Where my new son at? New my son. Dad. New son. He just out there in, in the gravity. Yeah, just ground yourself. Make sure you got your good shoes on so that when you in them Mars, them craters, they don't get you too bad, all right? And then I'm going to introduce you to Charlie. Well, I don't know if I'm ready or not. I've been a rolling stone my entire life to take, to, to, to take care of a baby who, 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 who must be damn near 110 years old at this point. And, but he's just the Charlie, you with the AI now. You can't tell me that you ain't v You v now, and I know you v <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Sophia. And but guess what? I'm Where the? I know you're tired, and we can always charge you up with the battery AI battery transplant, heart surgery. But get me up, Charlie. Me up. But I need to tell you I'm, this. Yes, Charlie. The AI can only do but so much. It can make me viral, <laughs> and it can make me, but it can't prepare me to be a father. Charlie, that's the silliest thing I've heard. Oh, not again. Oh. Now, Charlie, get yourself together. And you're going to be a daddy. I'm going to be a daddy. You're going to be a daddy. Charlie. I'm going to be a daddy. I'm going to be a better daddy than my daddy's 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 daddy. daddy. daddy was dead for many years. He was dead for many years. Yes, he but was. he came back to life because then he, they thought he was dead, but it really wasn't. He just didn't like your mama. Remember? I remember because we were there at the at the re. We were there at the funeral I service. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Let's get cleaner than I'm going to hell. Let's go back to that memory. Right. Flashback to 1964 at uh, Ch Charles's dad's funeral. It's an open casket, and Charles's family is there, and his father is dead in the casket. Or so we think. <laughs> Daddy. There was a lot you didn't do for me as a boy. You didn't teach me how to tie my shoes. You didn't teach me how to blow bubble gum. And you sure didn't teach me how to skip rocks. He didn't teach you how to be a man. You I had to, to, to learn I had to learn how to be a man myself. But it took this pretty lady right here to teach me what it means to be a real man. That's right. Something you couldn't do for my daddy. Have his back, sir. And you, always have it. And you know what? They say at this funeral you should say nice things. But I don't got no nothing well, good to say. You know too bad about the dead. You're right. You're right. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, did you see that, Sophie? He, he moving a little bit. Little chicken, Charlie. They go have chicken in it. The repast. Let's catch the repast. Everyone, on up, moving on up to the song. I'm gonna get to the repast. It's a good piece of chicken, Charlie. Did your auntie make this chicken? She sure did. You know it. You know it's better than churches. Better than churches. It's better than churches. It's better than churches, chicken. Yeah. It's your Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the dog. Oh. Charlie, that looks like... Uh-huh. That looks like you from... Is that your daddy? Grab the chicken and run. Grab the chicken and run. <laughs> Charlie, I took my plate to go. Cause that chicken, that. Charlie, that chicken was so good. I took that place to go. And let me tell you, Charlie, yes. this is ridiculous as your family was then. Absolutely. Get chicken right now. Now how you gonna tell me you can't take care of that baby? Now, Charlie, I want you to take care of that baby because I want you more now than I ever did. That's all I needed to hear, Sophia, and uh, and you know what? I'm gonna take care of that no good baby out there. Is that no good, baby? Is my seed. Yeah. I'ma make sure he grows up nice and strong in this new economy 2027, 8, 9, 10 year that it is. We're gonna keep the legacy going. And we're gonna live on Mars and colonize it. Ew. Well, maybe I should use some better words for it. We're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna take it over. Tell me. Your boy genius. Come here, CJ! Here I come! 
right now. Now, I want you to tell Mr. Charlie, because you ain't got to call him daddy just yet, but I want you to tell Mr. Charlie yeah. what you told me about how you was going to take over the world. Oh, yeah. We're going to take over the world here. See this map? The knucklehead son who doesn't have a name yet. What's the name? CJ. So, so, right, you just said that. See, Charles, you. He lays out a map across the across the table. There's no Charlie, mouth that anybody here, but... Charlie, did you tell somebody we was here? Oh, no, I didn't tell anyone. I turned on my phone on your phone. Who is it? Who is it? This is the police. We're going to the FBI. Yeah, we're going to the FBI. Who is it? This is the police. Remember that year, 1935? You was on a run. We've been looking for you ever since. We will, we will, we will. To be continued. <laughs> what, oh, wait, 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 what will uh, Charles and, and, and uh, do next? What was the plan and what was the secret that Charles's father had hidden in the church's chicken recipe? Will, will Edna ever have a different way? Find out next time on Radio Drama Improv. <laughs> <laughs>